Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 multiplayer video, and this one is actually a live commentary, not a post commentary. I decided to do a live commentary because I wanted to make this video about the Russian Defensive Doctrine, because I made the last video about the German Defensive Doctrine, and I've been playing the Rus Russian Defensive Doctrine quite a bit today, and had absolutely terrible luck with it, and so I kind of want to just make a live commentary video and talk about it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Um, once it pops up here, you may notice that these two abilities are zero CPs, and these three are one CP. This thing has no late game presence at all, unless you want to use these abilities late game, which is entirely possible. I will say that, because it's not like they become useless in, in the late game, but they're not that great. Uh, for the for the late game, that is. I mean, they're okay in the early game, but they're not very good in the late game at all. So anyways, um, Russian Defensive Doctrine, what do you get with it? Well, you get uh, anti-personnel mines that can be planted by these guys, engineers. And they cost, I believe, seven munitions? Yes, yeah, seven munitions. They are very, very cheap compared to the AT mines that they normally have for 30 munitions. So you can really just spam these all over the place, although they are much weaker than the AT mines, so their cost does make sense. Another thing, another thing you get at what? <laughs> another thing you get with it at uh, zero CPs is this machine gun, the DSHK, which is a really strong machine gun, good at suppressing, good at killing. It is just an overall good machine gun. Oops, need to buy another conscript squad. That's what happens when I start talking. I forget to buy stuff. Although, realistically, I actually forget to buy stuff, even when I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to buy stuff in this game. I don't know, in Company of Heroes 1 I used to have that issue, and then I fixed it. In Company of Heroes 2 I haven't yet fixed it, so sometimes I forget to buy stuff. But anyways, uh, what else do you get in the Doctrine? You get tank traps, which I have never been good at using, and you probably won't see me use them this game. You get a light AT gun that can damage like armored cars and such. It can also damage Panzer IVs, but it's not very good at it. Seems he and I had the same idea to put an MG in here. That's interesting. Too bad for him that I won, huh? <laughs> uh, the last thing you get with it is the overpowered mortar, which is not so overpowered anymore. It now costs 40 manpower more than it used to, and I missed putting this squad in that building. Oh well, I almost have this point, and once I get this point, I'm just going to go over here to this other one. You can have that building if you want to, buddy. I really don't care. And I'm going to use Ura because with this Doctrine, I find I have a ton of munitions floating most of the time. Um, so one thing I did in the early game, I didn't mention it when I did it, but I did do it, uh, is I bought the MG very, very early. I bought it as soon as I could after I, par after I purchased my first Conscript Squad. Ooh, there's an MG over there. I should be aware of that. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, but yeah, I purchased the MG at the same time. This squad is screwed. And the reason I wanted to do that was so I had two units at, at the very, very, very early game, and I could just put an MG in the middle and secure the middle for myself. That's basically what I have done by doing that. Uh, will it help me in the end? I don't know, because it actually does cost quite a bit of manpower. It costs 360 instead of 240 that a conscript squad costs. But uh, we'll see if it helps me or not. That's a lot of units over here on this side of the map. He has two Grenadier squads and an MG, I believe it was. I believe there was one MG, one Grenadier squad over here. It may have been a Pioneer squad, not a Grenadier squad, I don't know. But it's it's enemy infantry, he's on that side of the map, which means I can maintain a presence in the middle and the right side and hopefully just hold it, because this is, after all, called the Defensive Doctrine. I should be able to use it defensively quite successfully. I would hope so, anyways. 240 manpower is how much I need to build tier 2. I found tier 2 doesn't have much of a use with this doctrine, quite honestly. Um, you don't need... Well, I guess you do need the AT gun, because this AT gun sucks. But you don't need the mortar, because you have this one, and this one's kind of overpowered, although it's not nearly as overpowered as it was before. Um, yeah. <laughs> you really don't need tier 2, in my opinion, but I always still build tier 2 because I find it to be more helpful than Russian tier 1. I haven't built Russian Tier 1 in a long time, I just realized that. Anyways, I'm moving up this MG over here to his cutoff point, so if he wants to try and come over here, he's going to have a hard time. Um, I'm also going to capture, because I know that his infantry is like over here at this field point, or over at this point. 
it's not really over at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and take this squad, hopefully capture this. I, I don't want them to see my squad though. Yeah, that'll be good as long as they're capturing it there. Uh, with the squad over here, I don't know what else to do with them. Build tier 2. I'm a bit late on that. And why don't I have this point? <laughs> Did I not capture this point? Oh, whoa, what is this? Okay, um, he has an MG shooting at me. We're all out of there. And I missed it, darn. Uh, why is he retreating these two squads? I have no clue, but I am... I'll gladly kill your manpower for you. Look at how much damage this MG is doing. Wow, I killed three guys that were retreating. Oh, gosh, sniper. Oh, how do you counter a sniper? I do not know. I've never been good at countering snipers in this game, so this is actually an issue for me. Tier 2 is built. I can't afford Tier 3 yet, because it needs 90 fuel. You know what, guy? Come snipe my conscript squad and my MG will shoot at you and your sniper will die so fast you won't even find it funny. Just like that. <laughs> He might not find it funny, I find it funny. <laughs> oh, that was... that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, sni snipers are so weak and that machine gun is so strong, he... he's clearly never seen that machine gun before. Or something else, I don't know. Am I building tier 3? I sure am, so I can't afford Molotovs. So I want to cancel tier 3 to get Molotovs, because I'm trying to flank this MG right here. Uh, no, in fact, because I need to come over here again. Don't rifle grenade me! Okay. Oh, man, that hurt. That hurt. Well, um, they're both suppressed, so that's good. Retreat, and retreat this squad, because the flank is no longer going to happen. Why are you retreating that squad? I mean, yeah, you're suppressed, but still. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what he's doing. Should I buy a mortar? This mortar? Not yet. I don't think I need it yet. I need another... No, I do need the mortar, actually. Because he is using MGs, and he's using them quite successfully, if I do say so myself. And I do, obviously. Uh, there's an MG in this house. I can't go capture that cutoff point. That is fine. I'll just send the squad over here. I am winning this battle. Excellent. Reinforce everything. Set some waypoints, because I forgot to do that earlier. Let's see. Vehicle building can just be in red cover, that's fine. Uh, you're reinforced, let's have you capture... Well, I don't know, no. Let's have you capture that point and then retreat. I can't go capturing that fuel point, because he's guarding it. He's also... He's also guarding this one, too, isn't he? Hmm. Well, you know what? Mortar. Come over here, and then barrage that building. You're getting tired of something, I hear? Okay. You have an AT gun. My MG is reinforcing now. I can't afford anything out of here. I might buy a T-70 because I'm low on fuel. I don't really know. Are these guys not shooting? I don't think they're shooting. I, think, I don't think they can see through that bush. This squad is gonna die if I'm not careful, but I want to keep them here to keep shooting at this squad. Yes. Good. Now shoot at this squad. I think I'm tempting it with my squad right here. He keeps coming out of green cover over there, even though he shouldn't. He really wants to kill this squad, and this is working in my favor. Retreat! Oh, I thought the rifle grenade was going over here. It wasn't. Um, I think I might still win that. I don't know. Oh, that building is destroyed. Yeah, overpowered mortar for the win. I think he just lost a full MG in that. I'm not sure, though. I'm, yeah, I really don't know if he did or not, but I'm going to assume he did. Oh, AT gun sniped. I was even pressing the T key, and it wasn't enough. Let's see, the MG's done. I am moving my mortar up. Where should I put the MG? Should I put it in the middle or this building? Or should I just set it up somewhere? I don't know. He doesn't have a mortar, so I could just set it up and be pretty safe, except for rifle grenades. I'm just going to put it here. Call it good. Uh, this mortar is kind of out of line of sight. <laughs> These men are visible, which means the whole mortar is visible, but I can't really put it anywhere else. 
I guess I can just try trying to move it there. Hopefully keep it out of sight until it starts killing stuff. Because obviously once it starts killing stuff, it's going to appear on his minimap. And on the main map, regardless. Should I wait for a T70? He has fuel income. He, he probably had a lot of fuel income. I'm going to buy an AT gun, and I'm going to wait for the T70 instead of... Not T70, T34, instead of buying the T70. I think that'll be good for me. And you know what we're going to do with this engineer squad? We're going to go lay some of these 7 munitions anti-infantry mines. Because those you can just spam and spam and spam and spam and be just fine. Hello there, squad. Don't kill my mortar. Let my MG set up. Oh jeez, you have a... Okay, kill the squad, MG. Mortar needs to retreat. And... Can my MG get in here? I probably shouldn't have retreated my mortar. I probably should have just moved it over here. That was stupid of me. That's what happens when you press retreat too early sometimes. But then again, if you don't press it early, you're more likely to lose a squad. It's better to retreat early than late. By far. It is so much better to retreat early than late. You know, I was gonna lay some mines with this squad, but I'm thinking maybe I should just flank the MG, or I could just buy a mortar. Let's buy a mortar. <laughs> Two overpowered mortars. That's excellent. And I can't afford Molotovs, because I don't have enough manpower. Let's see, this mortar can go sit right there. Uh, this is the most useless flank ever, because I'm not actually flanking yet. <laughs> I sent this squad a little bit too early. Oopsie daisy. Uh, let's see, plant an anti-personnel mine there, and then, just for funsies, let's plant an AT mine there. And, uh, he'll have to run over two mines, and he might even lose the squad if he does that. So that'll be excellent. Okay. Can't really afford anything, but I'll buy Molotovs, because those will be helpful. There have been multiple times this game already when I wish I had- when I've wished that I had Molotovs. Okay, if you want to pin that squad, I'll have the other one shoot at you. Where's the mortar? Is it shooting? It kind of is. I mean, it is shooting, but, um... Hurry up and kill this MG! Which one is it? Yeah, that one. Ooh, is he... He's getting out of the house. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I just got Molotovs in time. Okay. Yeah, and then retreat this squad. MG is dead. He still has his AT gun, obviously. I haven't killed it yet. Back up this AT gun. Bring the MG over here. This is the MG sitting my base, right? Yes, it is. Oh, he can't move. Yes, he can. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Sometimes they get stuck around your HQ because you just have so many units and then they can't move and it's so annoying. Luckily, he can, though. We're just gonna have him face the building. Uh, Grenadier Squad. There's the squad. I know I had a squad over here, I just couldn't see them. It blend in. That's been an issue I've had with this game ever since day one. Like, squads just really blend in, at least at minimum graphics. I could actually play this game on medium graphics, by the way. I meant to increase the medium before I started this game, but I didn't because I forgot. So, Mr. Panzer 4, what can I counter you with? I have an AT gun. I don't have AT grenades. Those would be very, very helpful. This mortar's doing its job. It's even attracting fire from the Panzer 4 and installing the Panzer 4, so I have time to get my AT grenades, which is excellent. Three kills on this mortar, two on this one. This one needs to retreat. It's very low on health. Hello there, Grenadier Squad! Haha! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just owning this squad, and the flames are making him crawl on the ground, which means they won't shoot at me. Except now, these two... There we go. Shoot! Don't go into cover- oh gosh, my mortar better not kill me. My mortar had better not kill me. That would suck so bad. There we go. T-34 being built. Kill the whole squad. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay. That was nice. Okay, MG. Uh, go over here and face like that. I think I might have actually mispositioned you. Let's try that again. There we go. 
move this mortar up. Do I hear a plane? I do hear a plane. What is he doing with the plane? Surveillance, I assume? Probably. Uh, if we see a T-gun like that... It is my only AT gun. I have the AT grenades, though. Yes, I do. Good. Because those are going to be very useful if I have one AT gun and that's it. Alright, I have a T-34. I forgot I was building that. Mortar is done reinforcing. Let's capture points. He seems to have pretty much retreated, although how much do you want to bet there's an MG sitting right here in this house? Or this church, or whatever that is. Come on. There we go. Oh, there was lag. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, what? Come on. I knew it. There's an MG right there. Okay. Back up here. I'm right clicking is not doing anything because there's lag. Abstain. I'm a nice guy. I don't kick unless they become a real problem with the lag. It could just be a lag spike going on right now that happens every once in a while, as I'm sure all of you know. Yeah, that's probably what it was. It seems to have cleared up now. Mortar is barraging this house. I did a lot of damage with that one hit. I think he just left the house, though. I think he did, yeah. So let's go check. I'm pretty sure he just left the house. Did he? Yep, he sure did. And I'm going to collapse the house with the mortar anyways, because I don't want him to have it, and I don't really need it. So, might as well just destroy it. Do I have two mortars here? Sure do. This mortar can go over here. T-34. Um, go back over there. On this mortar. Come on. Barrage. This house. I want that house destroyed. I do not want him to be able to put an MG in it. Okay. So far I am winning this game, but think of how much of this doctrine I've used. I have used these mines, although I don't know if they've done anything. Yep, they have, and I missed it. You're in over both these mines. I have used the MG, I have not used uh, the tank traps and the AT gun, but I have used the mortar. So I guess the tank traps and AT guns are the two things I haven't used. The AT gun's pretty much useless. The tank traps, I, I've never been able to use tank traps in any Company of Heroes game which really consists all of two games, but still. I've never been able to use tank traps properly, I just don't know how to use them. I can barely use wire. Tank traps are even harder to use, because they only block vehicles. Although, as you could say, ta uh, wire only blocks infantry, to the same effect. I don't know, I've just never been good at using them. <laughs> Can't explain it. You know, I'm going to charge with this T-34. If he damages me with the Panzerfaust, then he damages me. I don't really care, because I have tons of support over there, including an engineer squad that can easily repair me. Hello there. Okay, T-34, face the right way. Wow, there's a ton of lag in this. Yes. Hello. Ooh. Too bad that mortar shell only did damage and didn't kill anyone. Oh, is he stuck behind my tank? That That's hilarious. <laughs> that's so unfair, but it's hilarious. Oh, that mortar. That mortar hit hard. Do it again, mortar. I have two mortars here that can shoot, so... Uh, yeah, it would be very nice. Okay, where's my AT gun? AT gun, AT gun. Where art thou? There you are. I need to move you over here so you can shoot. You need an AT grenade, something. This T-34 is dead. So is that squad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Buy some stuff. T-34 is dead. That is a damaged engine. AT gun, you're kinda shooting at the wrong thing. But oh well. So be it. Are you gonna go into the ocean? Not the ocean, the river. It'd be hilarious if you could accidentally make your squad or tank go in the river. It would suck, quite honestly, but it would be hilarious watching an opponent do that. Okay, um... Yeah, kill the Panzer IV. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought that was a, uh... a Panzer Grenadier squad, but it is not. Regardless, though, I still needed to retreat that squad because they took a ton of damage. Squad being the mortar. 
So now he is pushing me back, possibly because I was floating so many resources for a while, I'd forgotten to uh, buy stuff. Oh, the lag guy, come on, quit lagging. It of course could be me. Uh, it is nighttime where I am, and my ISP has a habit of doing maintenance at night when they think nobody's awake, but in reality, I am awake. <laughs> so, um, every once in a while this does happen to me. Hasn't happened in a while, though, so I don't know. Could be me, could be him. Just disappear lag. Make it go invisible, do a disappearing act. I would greatly appreciate it. Yes. Come closer to my AT gun, that's such a smart idea. And my T-34. Yeah. Conscript squad should take care of the Pioneer squad, or the T-34 can. Ooh. He's down to one man, with very little health. Retreat. Grenade? Sure was a grenade. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both mortars are... Not repairing, remanning. MG is good. Let's get the MG up here. Should I buy the light AT gun? Maybe just to show it to you guys? Let's do it. It's 200 manpower, which is not too bad. I mean, it's not It's not like you can just ignore the 200 manpower, but it's not too bad. I think I can afford it, even though it might cost me the game. <laughs> I can afford it even though it might cost me the game. That means you can't afford it, Supra. M42 AT gun? Awesome. Where do I want to put the thing? It's not going to do very much. It sometimes penetrates the Panzer IV and sometimes doesn't, and this guy is... He's built one Panzer IV so far and one Ostwind. I don't have a clue how it performs against an Ostwind, because I have yet to go up against an Ostwind with one. You think he still has an MG over here? I'm going to take a gamble and say no, but I don't know that to be true, so we'll see. I might just have to retreat this squad once they get over there. If I do, that's not too bad. I got burps. Um... Place some mortars as close as can be without truly endangering them. Plus they place this AT gun over there, this AT gun abstain over here. I'm glad he's been saying abstain as well. He's probably getting the same prompt unless he's actually the one lagging, but I don't know if he is because it says we're both lagging. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know. He's probably getting the same prompt and I'm glad he's saying abstain as well. Good sport, even though he's currently losing. Kind of. I mean, he has more of the map than I do, but I have more VPs. Okay, let's place some mines. Let's place these dirt cheap mines. One right there. One right there. And place an AT mine over here. The AT mine also gets detonated by people, in case you didn't know for whatever reason. But, um... Uh, it's essentially just a more damaging version. Ow! That mine just blew up on me. How rude of you, guy. It's essentially just something that does more damage. And also damages tanks, effectively. Is he coming over here? I think he's coming over here. And there's an MG over here, so let's retreat that squad. This mortar is taking a long time to land. There we go. One of the nice things about the cheap mines is they plant very fast. PMD-6, yeah. Mortars kill the squad. Oh, wow. That's a Vet-3 squad, and it just lost over half of its health to a single mortar hit. And people say that mortar's not overpowered. Yeah. That hits so hard. Anyways, um... I wonder where his AT gun is. I've totally lost track of the AT gun. I don't know where it is, but uh, I'm going to charge forward with my T-34. This may just be a death sentence for it, but we'll see. Yep, yep, there is the AD gun. Found it! <laughs> okay, um, let's buy another engineer squad. I'm in need of one. I'm going to lay some more mines. These mortars are doing a number on the MG. 
kind of. Are they, like, barely in range? Is that the issue? Yeah, this one is... This one is even closer to barely in range, so yeah. They're barely in range, and that is the issue. Except they're landing all the way out here, because they're so inaccurate. Oh well. Um, hello there, T-34. Okay, uh, that's not something I was expecting. This AT gun needs to rotate that way. Merge. Uh, send this MG over there. Yes, perfect. Come towards my heavier AT gun. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I hear the bomb, I hear the bomb. Oh. Okay, that's not where I was expecting it at all. That is fine by me. Not sure why he sent it over there when I had much more over here. But okay. I will gladly accept that. But he did kill my light AT gun. We didn't get to see how terrible it is. I was about to say how good it is, but it's not good. <laughs> Four men, let's merge, and... I'm not going to do shift retreat because it bugs out and it doesn't actually merge them in. It just retreats instead if, I, if you merge and then shift. So do that, and then merge with that mortar. I seem to have lost my other mortar, so he got that as well. That sucks. Oh well. No, why? Dang it. Why did it so... That's stupid. Is that a new thing? Why did it select the mortar after I merged it? Like, really? Oh boy. That's an elephant. That's an interesting tree branch, just floating and falling. That is an elephant. Oh boy. I have no counter to that thing. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. I can't go capture that third VP. Dang it. Thought I could, but I can't. Where's my mortar? Oh, I, yeah, I retreated it. Duh. That stupid retreat. You better not kill this AT gun. This is a Vet 2 AT gun that I do not want to lose at all. And he killed the AT gun. Yeah, I think I've lost. Um, I'm calling it now. This... Like, this is where the Doctrine hurts. He has a late-game heavy tank that I can't really do anything about now. Um... Yeah. I'm gonna get another MG. I'm not too... Do you really kill that MG? Really? Like, really? Oh man, retreat, yeah. Oh whoa, what happened here? Is that a flame critical? <laughs> His men just died. I don't know what happened there. This squad does not want to go capture this point. I, there's something on it. But yes, like I was saying, this is where the Doctrine really starts to hurt, because you have no late game things you can get from it. You have to rely on what the uh, country already has, in this case the USSR. Obviously it's always going to be the USSR, you're not going to play this Doctrine with the Germans. Um, so yeah, you're, this is where the Doctrine hurts. Nothing late game. I don't have a tank, I don't have artillery, I, I mean I have plenty of munitions to spin on artillery, but I don't have artillery to buy. Um, or to use, rather. So, this is this is the one thing that makes me not like this doctrine. It's just that as much as I might do fine in the early game, there's no way for me to win the late game unless I rely on units that are built into the country, which is entirely possible to do. Like, I could buy SU-85s and T-34s and such, and speaking of which, I should buy another T-34 pretty soon. Um, so I could do that, but it would take a while for me to do that at this point, because I don't have tier 4 built. Okay, oorah, up to here. I want an AT grenade on the elephant, and then another AT grenade on it, and then come over here. Wow, neither one of those damaged its engine. That's unlucky. Uh, let's go capture this point. Yeah, you suppressed that squad. That is okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than suppressing this squad, because I want this squad to go kill this thing. Um, I guess I'll buy another AT gun. This MG needs to go capture this point. 
enemy squad has a sighted. Oh. I forgot I sent him over there. So capture that and then go stand at the very edge of that point so he doesn't see me retreat from here. Come on. Talk about lag. Lag's gonna kill the squad there. Just watch. It's gonna die. If it dies, I blame lag. Yes, I blame lag. Uh, yeah, more of our troops have been lost. Why does it look like there's a unit here on the minimap, but there is no unit there? I don't know. Uh, have I lost both my mortars? I seem to have lost both my mortars. He had both the munitions and a fuel macache. He had a fuel one on this one and munitions on this one. That's interesting. Combat engineers. Uh, we will secure it. Let's see. Engineers have captured all These four men are dead, even though three of them were standing up holding air. <laughs> engineers ready. Let's see. You know what? We're going to play some more expensive mines. We will because I can afford them. No other reason. <laughs> He's shooting something here. What is he shooting? I don't even know. See, do that. Okay, they planted a mine and then died. I'm gonna retreat them both in hopes that both will survive because his firepower will be spread out against both. I'm gonna hope that happens. There goes his 200 manpower on that thing, even though it's a bit late. I have lost at this point. Oh, these had better survive. No! That sucks. At this point, I have lost. This doctrine sucks, although I did make mistakes this game, such as not purchasing units at some point. Um, but overall, I've had really bad games with this doctrine. It really does suck. <laughs> it's not just... Maybe it's just how I play, I don't know, but it's not because I suck that I'm having bad games. Are you really Stuka barraging this thing? You really are. What was that? Is that the elephant? <laughs> I think the elephant destroyed the whole thing. Hello there, Mr. Vet3 Squad. If you actually earned Vet3 23 kills, you have actually earned it. Apparently there's something new in the game. Uh, there's a doctrine that ha at zero CPs gives you an ability that lets you for 50 manpower and 20 fuel, or 55 manpower rather, not 50, um, lets you click the ability, then click on a squad, and that squad instantly becomes Vet 3, and in the early game, it is so overpowered, because it's only 50 ma uh, manpower, and manpower in the early game is the thing that matters, not fuel, so the fact that it costs 20 fuel is pretty much ignorable, because if you win the early game, um, you're going to dominate the late game. That's pretty much how it goes. So uh, in the early game, you spend the 50 manpower to make a squad vet 3, and then suddenly they're so overpowered. But at least he's not using that. I'm glad to see he's not using it. In fact, I should have known because he has an elephant, and that doctrine gives you a tiger ace. I'm down to a single engineer squad. You think I can make a comeback out of this? <laughs> I just realized... Uh, I could have captured this VP over here. <laughs> I totally could have captured it. I didn't have to go like this route. I could have gone the long way around, all the way out here, and come captured it that way. I could have totally ignored the MG that was in here. Speaking of which, I never even bothered to really attack that MG, did I? No. Anyways, um, yeah, I totally could have captured that point, and I didn't. And now he's capturing this one. No, I was going to keep this one and go capture this one and win that way, even though I'm down to so little here. Uh, I'm down to three buildings. Well, and obviously the MGs, although he's killed two of them now. And a single Pioneer Squad who was at Vet 2 with nine kills, all of which are infantry kills. Good to see. I was going to be surprised if there was a vehicle kill. So I think I've lost at this point. Um... If you disagree, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, GG guy. This doctrine sucks. Don't play with this doctrine. <laughs> GGG. That's something I've never seen. Wait, what? What? Did he give me the victory? victory what? Comrade. Why did he give me the victory? 
Um, was he cheating? And then he gave me the victory because he felt bad? It didn't seem like he was cheating. I mean, why would he give me the victory? I've never been given a victory in this game before. I have in Company of Heroes 1 a few times, but I don't know why he gave the victory. I, I really don't see it. <laughs> like, like, he did nothing wrong as far as I could tell, but okay. I guess I'll take the victory even though I actually do not want the victory because it's going to make me a higher rank than my skill level actually is, which is not going to do me any good. It's only going to hurt me. But oh well. I'll take the victory, because I have no choice. So in terms of units, what did he have? He had an Ostwind, um, an Elephant, a Vet 2 Pioneer Squad with 10 kills. That's one more than my squad had, even though they're both Vet 2. And his is actually less vetted than mine is, or less experienced. That's interesting. One more kill, but less experience. Um, an MG... Something over here, an AT gun, another AT gun, an MG, and a Grenadier Squad. He had way more than I did. I thought he had less than he did. Oh, plus uh, another Panzer Grenadier Squad over here. That is Vet 1 with 13 kills. How do you have 13 kills and you're only Vet 1? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I ended up losing because... Because, partially because I suck at this game uh, compared to Company of Heroes 1. I'm a little bit better at Company of Heroes 1, but this game is still at least decently fun, just like Company of Heroes 1 is. And partially because this Doctrine just sucks. Like, I had nothing in the late game from this Doctrine. I really needed to either tech on my own and go Tier 4 or do something else to get some late game units because this Doctrine does not provide anything late game. I didn't use the tank traps, that's the only thing I didn't use this game. Uh, I've just never really been good at using tank traps, I have no clue how to use them properly. Like, I could have put some here, or some here, but in reality, wouldn't the elephant have just crushed them? Because I'm pretty sure the elephant will crush tank traps. I'm not sure. I don't actually know if you can crush tank traps in this game or not. I have not... I've not seen them used by anyone in this game. Um, so I have no clue if tanks can crush tank traps in this game like they couldn't company if here was one um as for the other abilities i know i was going to end the video but i guess we're not ending it yet um the mortar it's still slightly overpowered you saw how it just just, just demolished this building in the early game um the at gun it sucks the mg is awesome and these anti-personnel mines are awesome as well. For seven munitions, they are so effective. And look at how many munitions I had by the end of this game, because this Doctrine has, like, nothing to spend munitions on except for seven munition mines. For seven munitions, you could, like, plant mines in every single piece of this map. Like, just everywhere. <laughs> and then you'd run out of, min out of munitions. It's just crazy cheap, but they're also, like, really weak, but they're... I think they're a good value, in my opinion, so they're worth it. Um, overall, not a good doctrine, but anyways guys, now I'm going to end the video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!